Hi, welcome back to BizJet TV. It's Fab Polly here. And today I'm going to be talking about something a lot of you have been asking me about. It's saying, what process do you go through when you're selecting a private jet? Now, a lot of people uh, get caught in the how questions. How much is it going to cost me to buy the plane? How much is it going to cost me in fuel? How much is it going to cost me in maintenance? How much are the pilots going to cost me? How, 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 how? Well, I think it's a lot more important to think of the why. And we've probably heard this by a lot of business philosophers talk about the why is more important than the how. And I think it was Gandhi that actually said, um, if you worry about, if, you, if you've got a big enough why, the how will take care of itself. So it's the same when you're selecting your private jet. Now, the first thing you need to start thinking about is why do you want a private jet? What's the reason? And yes, of course, it's more comfortable, uh, but you know, you're going to have access to more airports. You're going to have access to shorter runways. Depending on the type of aircraft you choose, you need to start thinking of what, how far, far afield do you want to go? Do you want to relocate your company to somewhere like Cedar City, Utah, like, like Mark uh, Levitt did? And you can see the interview with Mark Levitt, just to click on the link above. And he talks about, uh, well, you'll, you'll, you'll see the interview, uh, the fact that he can live in Cedar City and base his company there. Um, and the advantages uh, being a very, uh, having a very low crime rate and very good schools there, it allows him to attract really good people. But if they didn't have the private jet, they would have to, you know, be somewhere like Chicago, New York or Los Angeles. So, you know, having a private jet and, and having your people travel by private jet allows you to pretty much locate your company anywhere where you know you're going to attract a good quality employee. So that's the thing. The other thing is when you're traveling by private jet, you're going to be a lot more rested because you control the schedule. You can fly into airports closer to your destination. Um, you need to think, do do I want, uh, I mean, do I need a thousand mile airplane, a 500 mile range airplane? Do I need a 2000 mile airplane? The range is the thing you need to start to think of very early in, 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 in your selection process. Uh, think where you could go if you had a private jet. And you may want to start, you know, with something that's maybe 2,000 mile range or something like that. Um, and I always give the example of Grant Cardone. He started off with his G200, flying all over the United States, doing real estate deals, and then to a couple of years later, selling the aircraft and buying a G550 and going global. So you will start off with one airplane and then move into another. So you need to start to think uh, the radius you're going to fly it, because if it's five to 600 miles, maybe a Pilatus PC-12 will work. Um, do you need to carry cargo on your flights? Uh, like samples and things like that. Well, then obviously the PC-12 has got a good cargo door. The PC-24, which is a jet version, which has got a 2,000 mile range, has got a cargo door. It's a jet. It can land on grass as well as paved runways. Um, so that's good. But, you know, if you're on one end of the United States and need to get to the East Coast regularly, you need to have more range. Um, and so you need to start to think of that uh, if you're going to go transatlantic or from continent to continent you're going to need maybe need a five to six thousand maybe seven thousand mile range airplane so and then you need to think am i going to buy or am i going to lease and you know i do these leases now you can lease from me for three months six months 12 months 18 months two years um, i do offer this kind of um, of lease which is ideal for somebody that's not quite ready to buy a jet but they do need a jet, so they don't have to outlay all the money to, to, to buy the airplane. They just pay the lease on a monthly and hourly basis. And that gets them flying and having a private jet available 24-7 with a dedicated crew. Uh, that's another option that's out there. Uh, so you really need to start thinking of the why. The why of the private jet. Obviously, you need to figure out your budget. And this is why maybe leasing could be a valid option instead of buying right away. Um, or buying, you know, a smaller aircraft to start with and concentrate on those destinations closer to your headquarters um, and, and, and start allowing that jet to, to get you to do deals that you wouldn't do if you didn't have the private jet. Uh, because the private jet will make you money if used in a certain way. And so that's what you need to start thinking about when you're going to select your jet. So once you've figured out the range, then we need to start thinking about the cabin. Uh, the cabin, the baggage compartment, how much baggage can it carry? How many people can it carry? Um, how big is the, the cabin? Do you want a wide cabin, long cabin, high cabin, short cabin? Um, that's the next thing that you need to look at. And of course, the reliability of the different types of aircraft. How important is reliability going to be for you? Are you going to buy new or old? Look at your tax implications. How, uh, how, how, how much money do you have to pay tax wise? How much can you write off? And that will depend on the jurisdiction you're in. So these are all things that you need to consider. Um, of course, consulting with someone like myself will help uh, because I'll be able to tailor the questions uh, specifically to, 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 to your business. I'd also think of geopolitical situations 
and the way your your market or your sector, whichever you, sector you, you are in, is moving, uh, which are the, 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 the upcoming markets that you could tap into. Um, that's going to be an interesting factor, an important factor as far as deciding what airplane to buy. So these are all things you need to consider uh, when you're going to be purchasing an aircraft. That's the kind of the thought process. So the how is important, but the why is far more important than the how, because there are so many benefits. I mean, I'll just give you a classical example. Professional goal Golfers, the top 20 professional golfers in the world, or maybe even the top 30, all own their own private jet. And the reason being is there is absolutely no way could you perform at the highest level as a golfer if you didn't travel by private jet. Because one tournament may be in England, the following week it's in New York, then, then it's Singapore. And the only way to travel from these to these different cities is by private jet. You I mean you can leave when you want, jump on the plane. I mean, let's say you don't make the cut, well, you just jump on the plane and leave early. Um, and bring your team with you. These are all things that professional golfers do, and there's absolutely no way today could you perform at the, at the highest level in golf without your own private jet. Well, business is the same. I mean, you want your team to perform. You want your business team to perform. Uh, you want them to spend time at home and not be constantly away from home. That creates a lot of strain and stress on families, and that does affect job performance. So these are other things that you need to think of when you are considering buying a private jet. So that's really all from me on this episode. And if you haven't shared this video, I encourage you to share, like this video, subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so already. And that's all from Fab Pilot, BizJet TV, and I'll see you on the next one.